Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. For those of you that have been around Lightroom for a while, you probably know that a few years ago, Lightroom changed the way their presets were formatted. In the past, Lightroom presets ended with the .lr template uh, suffix. Currently, the presets end in the .xmp suffix. Now, structurally, those files are different from one another. So if you have the current version of Lightroom Classic, the Creative Cloud version, and you want to import an older style of preset, Lightroom will import them okay, but what will happen is you'll lose the file structure. They'll just get clumped together in a single folder. And this may not be a problem for many people, but if you do have a lot of different folders of the old style of presets and you want to keep that folder structure when you import them into Lightroom Classic the current version they'll all get clumped together in a single folder so maybe you'll have landscape presets clumped together with black and white presets clumped together with lifestyle presets and portrait presets and you may not want that well in this video we're going to talk about how you could avoid that now, first of all, let's just minimize Lightroom for a second. On my desktop, I have two folders. Uh, this one, the macro presets, if I open that, you'll see they have that .xmp suffix. Those are the newest style of presets. These will import perfectly fine into Lightroom Classic and Lightroom Mobile. If I go over to the black and white presets, you can see those have the .lr template at the end there. And those will still install and work okay in Lightroom Classic, but again, as I mentioned, you won't get that folder structure anymore. And let's demonstrate a little more. Let's go to the presets panel on the left, click the little plus sign, click to import presets. Let's go to the new style, the Anthony M's macro presets. Again, these are the new style presets. Now click import. What it's going to do though, it's going to open the folder. Now I have to select every one. So these are the .xmp, the new ones. I'll click on one, hit Command A on my Mac to select all of them, Control A on a PC and we'll click import. And when I do that, you'll see they're in their own little folder right here, Anthony M's macro presets. So if I had, again, some lifestyle presets, some landscape presets, whatever, as long as they were .xmp, they'll always be in their own folder. The issue though is with the other ones. I'll click plus, I'll click import presets, and we'll go back to the desktop. And these are the, again, the um, black and white presets. If I click import, again, it opens the folder, and you can see that they're .lrtm template, lr template. Now I'm, gonna, I'm not going to um, do all of these at the moment. Let's just do a few. I'll do these four, all right? So we'll do four of them and I'll click import. Now what you'll see is they all get clumped together right here in the user presets. So again, if I had multiple folders of different types of presets, I may not want that. I may want them all to be together in their own folder. Well, how can you do that? Well, go up to Lightroom Classic on a Mac, edit on a PC, and down to Preferences. From Preferences, go to the second tab from the left, Presets. Then you have two buttons here, Show Lightroom Develop Presets and Show All Other Lightroom Presets. What you wanna click on is the second one, Show All Other Lightroom Presets. And when you do that, if you have a Mac, a Finder window opens. If you have a PC, a File Explorer window opens. Now, once that window is open, close everything down, including Lightroom itself. And let's just deal with this window. Now, it opened, and it's on Lightroom. So what you need to do is drill down to the correct folder. So double-click on that to open that up. And what you want to go to is Develop Presets. Open that. Now, in this folder, drag your folder of the older style of presets. Again, those are the .lr template presets, which are right here. Don't drag the individual presets in. Drag the entire folder in and click move. Okay, so we just dragged it into this folder. Close down your finder window, then reopen Lightroom, and you'll see that it might only take a second or two but it will actually convert those .lr template presets to the current um, style of Lightroom presets. 
And when it does, they'll show up there. Just converted it, click OK. And you'll see Morganti black and white presets. They're in their own folder now. And it will do that for every folder you drag in there of the old style of presets. They'll put them in their own folder and they won't just be clumped all together into user presets. So hopefully that helps those of you that have older presets that you've used in previous versions of Lightroom and you want to keep them in their original folders because it's much easier to navigate specific preset you're looking for if it's in its own category. You know, a portrait preset is in a portrait folder and so on. So that's it for this video. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.